This is Neo. It's a five foot six home robot that you can pre-order today for $20,000. The company behind this, 1X, says it'll help you with basic tasks like vacuuming, cleaning, folding laundry, and even doing things like greeting guests at your door. It's supposed to be a helpful humanoid robot, and I'm sure it's gonna change everything, but not in the way that most people think. Marquez Brownlee has called this out as a major problem. This isn't real. And I mean that in the most literal way possible. This is not real. And the Wall Street Journal's Joanna Stern got to spend a day with one of these Neos. I would call her review of that day tepid at best and scared at worst. But Neo looks incredible and it looks useful. It has a big battery. Should be able to do chores for four hours before it needs to go and charge itself. It can walk at a rate of about 1.4 meters per second and run up to 6.2. It's capable of lifting 154 pounds but can only carry about 55. Now the video released by 1X this week was the launch of pre-orders with deliveries starting sometime in 2026 in the United States with preferential treatment for people who pay the $20,000 US price tag to purchase a Neo outright. There's also a subscription option for $500 a month, but it does look like there's some differences in terms of priority, even between those two purchasing options but I can't tell entirely and this is where for me this whole thing takes a turn for the odd and, and maybe even disturb it now I'm not afraid of these situations I I just put money down on a laundry folding robot so like I'm excited for this world but the risk has shifted and I wonder where that line is. That's the conversation I wanna have with you all today. The videos released by 1X are marketing videos. They show the positives, but to be fair, 1X has tried to be fairly transparent while still selling you a dream. On the website, we get demonstrations of the robot doing what they call autonomous work. It's labeled at the bottom of the demonstration when it's autonomous. When you scroll down, you find out that Neo will have to learn a lot. And you might wonder, how will it learn these things? It'll be operated by an individual using what is essentially a VR connection. Neo has two almost nine megapixel cameras as its eyes and four far field microphones. It has speakers in its pelvis and in its chest. And so communication can happen back and forth between you and Neo, but also you and your teleoperator. So while being teleoperated, Neo will be learning the task that you've asked for. This in itself is a major question and most people are going to have serious and valid privacy concerns. One X, answers a lot of those privacy concerns on their website and through their FAQ page. They state that no one will be logged in when you haven't authorized it and that the robot will show you visually when someone is logged in. They also state they're using operators in the United States and they answer other basic privacy questions for what most of us would expect. And this method of training makes sense for the technology. It's a reasonable expectation that at this time, an AI system has to be trained on what's happening and what's in and around your home. We've seen how difficult it has been just for robot vacuums to identify objects, work around them, and successfully complete their task. This humanoid robot has to succeed in a much more three-dimensional environment and it has a lot more power and capability to make mistakes that could be very bad for you and I. Marquez talked about Neo bringing pills to someone. A mistake there is at best negating what you've paid for and at worst 
deadly. Joanna showed multiple examples. It took a minute to get a bottle of water from a fridge that was 10 feet away and the robot struggled to even get the door open. It also took five minutes to load three dishes into an empty dishwasher and the entire task looked like a disaster. With all of this being pointed out by two very reputable sources, there's this war going on and the war is part of what has to change. The CEO of 1X called the training of all of these tasks a social contract. In 2026, if you buy this product, it is because you're okay with that social contract. If we don't have your data, we can't make the product better. The social contract that you're agreeing to is to pay all that money to train a system that Joanna Stern likened to having a toddler in your home. The company is then gonna take that data, improve their product, and make more money from it as a result. Obviously, your benefit is a robot that works better in your home. Over time, it's expected that Neo will get better and more of Neo's tasks will become autonomous. Eventually, Neo will become fully autonomous. But to pay that incredible amount of money to be on the bleeding edge, at the very least, we should expect that it's clear what will be working and what we're getting on day one. And we should probably know the contractual terms, right? Today's video sponsor is Akara, and I've had their G410 video doorbell on the front of my home since its release in July. This is a 2K video doorbell that can identify people, specific faces, and even people who are spending a little extra time at your door. They call that lingering, and I call those people creepy. But I love this video doorbell. Not just for the high quality footage that I get of everyone coming up to my door, I love it because it captures every moment with its motion detection system that finds people well before they're at your door. I also love it because it works with my entire smart home. It records locally to a little micro SD card that I put in the included 95 decibel chime. It also records locally to my NAS system and I get fast, clear notifications about what's going on around my home. It was amazing during the Halloween holiday as I uploaded a custom ringtone and was able to automate the lighting around my porch. Check out Akara's G410 in the links below as it's one of my personal favorites. When I go to their website, I look through the product page, the FAQ, all their videos and their marketing materials. I have a few answers to basic questions. The basic privacy concerns seem to be handled. The social contract appears to be clear, but there are no guardrails in place for any of this. And we as smart home aficionados, we've seen the terms of our arrangements change when we have a connected product. The risk here is that they don't live up to promises, or at least that's one of them. The other risk is that they change their mind. And with dollar values like these piled on top of the potential privacy and security concerns, it's a social contract that entirely favors a company and allows it to essentially get away with whatever it wants. I'm not saying that 1X is trying to do anything nefarious. I think they've been fairly forthright with their pre-release here, at least as much as they can be. But they also have a lot of open doors that they can walk through whenever they want. There's nothing saying that they couldn't sell your data. And even if it says it now, we've seen those things change and overnight. The company can't even answer basic questions like how many times will it take to train Neo to do a task before it has an acceptable speed and quality? What is safe to have around Neo? I saw a very small statement about children and pets and the only guidance I have is to follow the guidance, but I don't have any guidance. So like, can I have a 10 year old or a three year old or can I have a St. Bernard or is a wiener dog okay? I don't know. What's the service level? As in, if I schedule a task, when will that be accomplished? What if I have a failure? When will it get fixed? How many operators and maintenance providers will they have to maintain these service levels? And how will those teleoperators be vetted? They're obviously in my home, so can I vet them? Will I have my own personal ones? Will I get to know them? 
what kind of discount do I get when the company inevitably has to cut costs and therefore hires people with less stringent requirements? Where is the privacy agreement and the terms of service? What am I actually signing on to? They could change that entire agreement anyways. Where are the guardrails? When I go and I pre-order today, which only cost me $200 and is supposedly refundable, those could change though from here to then and they don't exist. Where is the basic list of tasks that will be accomplished by Neo? Even when you watch the demos, there are questions that, that crop up. Like Neo picks up this cup, but it looks like a plastic cup and the exchange is quite odd. Is it safe to assume that a glass cup will be fine? We have no idea, truly. We're being sold a dream. And this is just one example of many that we've seen in the last couple of years. This is privatized Kickstarter with a side of whatever the company wants. Spending this kind of money on something that isn't developed and requires you as a beta tester isn't a social contract. The journey there is not gonna be perfect and we're not gonna pretend it's going to be. We have accepted that it's that. That finally needs to change. This is a bridge too far for me. And while, you know, guys, you know, I love the idea of replacing all kinds of menial tasks. I don't see any of that being guaranteed. And it's funny to watch the conversation that people are having about Neo and about 1X and about Marquez coming out and warning everyone that maybe this isn't so great. This is an innovation. And we all want the innovation and the dream that comes from that. But the rules and the laws and the guidelines for putting something like this out are not protecting people whatsoever. There are so many risks and gaps here that I just, I can't be quiet. Where are the consumer protections? We gotta vote with our wallet here. Until you see those protections in place, don't buy in. I've linked both Marquez's and Joanna's videos and they're up on screen right now. I think both of those are worth your time to understand this situation much more than even I've explained here today. Otherwise, thanks for watching and of course, live smart.